All right, so I'm back at I'm back in Jefferson City in the Capitol building. This is um, I'm still here on the same day and everything. Sorry about that camera again, but I just kind of want to do a little bit more than just that one video. So it's probably going to be a two-parter here. But I'm just kind of here with my Boy Scout troop, and there's a bunch of stuff here that's pretty cool. Got that thing up there, uh, Salus Pol Supreme Les Ex Lex Esto, and that means like. It's like the first rule of the Roman government. I don't remember what it is exactly. Like the the law of the people should be the supreme law of the land or something, something like that. Oh, the group's gonna leave eventually. Um, there's the main entrance that they used a long time ago, and it's open on weekdays, not weekends though. It's um, it's pretty cool. It's um, it's behind it is four cast iron doors or cast or cast bronze, I think, cast bronze doors. The largest, 18 feet tall each, and they are the largest since the Roman Empire 2,000 years ago. It's a freaking long time ago, dude. Um, all these pillars, marble, cut differently because it's from Missouri and yada yada. It looks really nice. Those look like Mars, like this, or not Mars, but the surface of like Jupiter, and it has like, or Saturn or Jupiter. It has like the spinning clouds and stuff, the big storm that's been going on for like a few hundred years or something. A bunch of people in uh, helmets sets. But yeah, this guy who this Edwin Powell Hubble probably can't see it from there. Edwin Powell Hubble right there. Don't smoke in here, guys, once again. So there's a lot of these things. That was done by Thomas Hart Benton. Very, very beautiful stuff he does. And then you got this sun thing. And then if apparently, like here, right here on this. If you, apparently if you walk down the center of uh, these stairs right here, this grand staircase is also the largest of its size in the world on inside and out. Not really. And so apparently if you walk down straight on this, you can see through the glass and you can see two angels holding up something. No remember what it is exactly. Dome. But uh, yeah, holding up a dome, sorry, thank you. And um, so you can actually like see words or something. I don't remember what the words are again. I, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. The tour guy keeps talking fast and going. A lot of people, a lot of people like these tours. It's a, apparently this was voted as this year's, um, the most beautiful, what is it, um, capital building in the world. Pretty cool. Um, and you got all of these, shut up. And you got this whole mural. This was from Thomas Hart Benton, like I said, or this is Thomas Hart Benton. Hi, Gabe. Shut up. Um, and so look at this. Look at the stuff. Look at all of this. Absolutely beautiful, just marvelous. I can see why it's the most beautiful in the country as it was voted. And I mean, it's just fantastic. Tiffany lamps all around, all around or original Tiffany lamps, doors. Down here you can see a view of the first two floors, maybe, I think. Look at this. I'm actually afraid of this. Look at this. Absolutely marvelous. Just beautiful. So. I mean, you got all of this stuff here. It looks fantastic. These are my feet, look fantastic as well. I'm back. This is just fantastic stuff. Oh man. This is, this is absolutely amazing. I can see why they say it's the most beautiful in the country this year. Uh oh. My brother, my brother dropped his phone. Here. Micro, I see, Simon. Micro. Micro, not regular. This guy? Who is this? This is Emmett Kelly Sr. I wanted to say he was a clown at first because of his nose, but that's really mean to say. Um, yeah. Well, there's a guy right there, it looks like. That looks vaguely... That looks vaguely like Albert Einstein, but it's... Mark Twain, right? Bam, Mark Twain. Looks vaguely like Einstein, if you can sort of tell from the hair. But uh, did you know they used Einstein's eyes as a model for E.T.'s eyes back in 82? Oh, cool. Did you know that? They actually used Einstein's eyes as the model for E.T.'s eyes. Huh. I found that interesting. Okay. Lots of people, state officers from 59 to 60. Lots of freaking state officers, a long list of them. Just look at those faces. They're so beautiful, even though they may not be photographs, they may just be paintings. Denny Hoskins, don't know who that is. Look at this cool clock. I like clocks like these. These are absolutely, like gigantic, like, pocket watches. I don't remember where the group went. Uh, 
I mean, just fantastic stuff in here. My battery might go down soon, I can't tell. Camera didn't show it. Shoot, okay, well, fire hydrant doesn't really have significance in history. Where did the group, where did the group go? I have no idea. I don't know either, they should be this way. I don't know where they are. Um, oh, this right here, water pops out of that, and that, ow, oh, did you get hit by that? So did I, ow, ah. Okay, um, if you ever visit this building, if you live in like New York and you want to visit this building. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna make a hazard, a water hazard, don't. <laughs> Stop. Somebody's gonna slip and fall. Jeez. Then they're gonna Second most beautiful Capitol building now. No, first, isn't it? Well, it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be second after. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna go look for the group, okay? I cannot find this group. I can't find this group for my life. Yeah, this was voted most beautiful Capitol building this year. It's not gonna be the most beautiful after he's done. There's gonna be accidents amok. I don't even know where the group went. I don't, I don't have any more historical facts to give you because of this. Um, there was a chandelier, I think I showed you like that big like metal-ish chandelier there on the big circular thing on, in this video, like in the beginning. Uh, that fell when they replaced, they replaced a cable for it and they replaced it incorrectly and they raised it up because they were going to do like cleaning or maintenance on it. It fell, completely shattered it, and then they had to rebuild it. It's like Humpty Dumpty, except the king's horses and men did put him together again. Um, do you know where the group is? No. I have no idea. Said they were going to the house island. Oh, they were? No, I said. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I was. I've been recording this this whole time. <sighs> More people. Oh man, construction area. Oh, cool. Constructing something. Can we go in there? Going where? <laughs> Take a picture. Construction. I'm gonna record whatever it is that's in there. This is gonna be. Dude, this look is at the that. House of Representatives. Thanks. This is like what they do at the Capitol building for like lawmaking. Mm -hmm. And they convene in here like, what is it, once a month or so? Or uh -huh. is it every day? That's some good maintenance and building they're doing. Cannot enter. Yeah. Well, my camera's view will enter. I have no idea. Oh, hey. I lost that. Oh, be careful over here. George was kept spraying the water out of the bear's mouth right there. Might be a little water it's somewhere. It's gorgeous. He has to send a house lounge. Oh, he does? It's gorgeous. You'll see it. It's like, see, there's that leather mat that automatically opens. Ah. Uh, he's in there. He's giving us. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to go in there real quick. Uh, there's some stairs there. Don't know about their importance. Probably take you floor to floor. Yeah, that door with the leather mat is in there. Yeah. Oh, okay, this door. Okay, so we passed by way earlier. I guess I didn't notice. Let's see this, man. Let's do this. This is like The Incredibles. Showtime. We're just gentlemen just working the jury over. This is Thomas Park Benton's brother. If you take a straight line all the way across the painting, you run into this gentleman here. Same distance from the corner. That's Thomas Hart Benton's. Dad, if you go down here to the gentlemen that are fighting the, over the watermelon and you run that same thing straight across, you run into this gentleman right here. That's Thomas Hart Benton's son. Same distance. The math that it took to do this is unreal. He actually built sculptures of every one of these scenes. And if you go to his home, one of them is, is still, still intact. The story, yes, sir. Is there anyone still alive in the painting? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. The story of Missouri's social history begins in the 17th century, 1700s, with the French who owned and established <coughs> the Louisiana Purchase. They traded with the Indians. They traded furs, they traded for beads, guns, and white man's liquor. 
Eventually, they passed a law against the white man's liquor because they found out Indian gun and white man's liquor did not make a very good combination. <laughs> so they, they got rid of that. They moved up and down the river in keel boats, mostly down the river. They would make them, and then they would get to everything they were going to trade or sell and float them down the Missouri River. They would, if they were got into a real shallow spot, they would try to pull, you know, pull to go through. Or in some cases, they had to get out and pull the darn thing. You can imagine that. Once they got to the places where they wanted to trade, like St. Louis, they would sell everything, uh, trade everything that they had, and then they would actually take the boat across, boat apart, and then they would sell the lumber, lumber. And then truck back up the Missouri River, make another boat, and do the same thing. It was a lot easier to have a pull that puppy back all the way up. It was, that was pretty hard work. <clears throat> and if you jump over here to this part of the painting, this is where we become a state, 1821. We are a slave state, so that's why we have the selling of a slave. Thomas Hart Benton compared selling a slave to the same thing as trading horses. They were only considered property. They didn't have, he didn't have any rights either to the horse. You give them shelter, you feed them, and then you will apart. That's, that's how it was. The next big industry, and we made, Missouri made over 15 million of these, were railroad ties. Missouri, because of its location, right in the middle of the United States, and with the moving west from the railroad, it was an ideal place. Right, I'm going to have to move this out now. Woodlands. I'll make another part in a little bit. And so they just See, I'm And they flowed the 